Mabuhay everyone, Mark Chess here and welcome to the channel. And for all of you who are new here, please don't forget to subscribe after this video or before you watch this video. And also click that notif bell if you want to be updated with my videos. For today, I will be comparing the KT5's Anta's most newest or most premium signature sneaker for basketball. And of course, the KT4's, its predecessor, Clay Thompson's signature sneaker from Anta. Anta already opened two flagship stores here in Manila. One is over at SM Mega Mall in Mandaluyong or Pasig. The newest one is in Taguig, SM Aura. For the SM Aura branch, it's for all those basketball aficionados. The products there are more mainly on basketball. So one in SM Mega Mall has wider range from basketball to lifestyle, etc. etc. Okay, check out the two newest store. They already came and this is the good news. I'll be comparing the KD5s with the KD4s. If you haven't watched the full performance review of each of these sneakers, I'll put the link up here for a more detailed review of each of these. And let's start off, of course, with the upper of the sneakers. With the Clay TSM colorway in the KT5, it features textile mesh. And for the East Bay Times colorway of the KT4, it features a synthetic mesh upper. And for the materials of the KT4 and the KT5, it really varies which colorway you have. Other KT4 that I have was the China Clay. The upper was um, textile mesh there too. The first one that I had on the KD4s was a net upper. So it really varies on what colorway you will be getting. So I'll be just comparing the East Bay Times and the one that the net that I have and this KT5's Claytism colorway. So for the upper, for support, with this synthetic mesh upper on the East Bay Times, I would say it's pretty much the same on the support, although I would give a slight advantage on the support laterally and medially and especially around the toe area on the KT5 because as you can see here, the big difference is when you look at it, the traction of the KT5 really goes up on the sidewall of the lateral part of the KT5, giving you extra lateral containment. Also, the cushion goes up around the midfoot part of the KT5. The KT4 there's a plastic here that goes up, going up to the heel part of the sneaker from the midfoot going up. But around the forefoot area, it is not as high as the ones in the KT5s. And there's a Manny Pacquiao signature here. I had him sign my KT4s in the opening of the Anta Mega Ball brand. He signed my KT4 East Bay Time, so I hope it will have more value. For me, it has more sentimental value. Side story, but like I said, in terms of support, especially in the lateral part of the forefoot area because your forefoot is very well cop and supported around the forefoot area of the KT5s. One issue that I experienced on the KT4s on the first colorway that I had, which has a knit upper, it was stretching a bit too much, although some parts of it was fused. But still, when you're really giving it too much energy or torque on the forefoot, you can feel the, a little bit of lag in the forefoot area because knit stretches so there's a little bit of delay there but with the kt5 even though if i have the knit upper it will still be very well protected and supported on the kt5 because of the rubber outsole coming up on the forefoot area of the kt5 so slight advantage here on the kt5s while on the midfoot yeah if you want more support around the midfoot part this really goes up here so lateral support also I would give advantage on the KT5s while on the heel I would say they're pretty much even in terms of heel support heel containment and lockdown and what I love about the KT4 is there's a flex area here it's a hole so your ankle even though this is a high one booty setup upper it can still bend so when you're running it has a little flex there feels like a low when you're playing with it while this one is more really for ankle protection so it really depends on your preference if you want more ankle protection of course go with the kt5 while if you want a more low cut feel to a sneaker with ankle protection a high cut sneaker of course the kt4 is better for you because it has this flex area around the ankle or heel part of the sneaker in terms of ankle and heel comfort I would say it's pretty much equal. They're very plush Achilles pillows on both sneakers, so that's a tie. Wearing the sneaker, I would say 
it is easier to put your foot in because it has a traditional tongue lacing system on the KT5 but because of the shroud you just have to really hold it down when you're wearing the KT5 so there's a delay there while the KT4 even though it doesn't have a shroud it's a one booty upper it's a sock upper you really have to open it up and loosen the laces first before putting your foot in and you're good to go and as for the insole the kt5 it has a neoprene like insole while the kt4 i haven't checked i forgot about it well the kt4s also have a very neoprene like insole too so very much the same with the KD5s. Now let's get on to the good part or the main part of the sneaker, which is full length A flash foam, the most premium cushion from Anta, full length from the KD4s up to the KD5. The only difference that I notice is on the A flash foam of the KD4s, you need to break it in a bit more compared to the KT5. You don't need that much time breaking in the A flash foam on the KT5. On the density, I feel like it is more plush on the KT5. So impact protection, both are very nice. But KT5's plushness gives more advantage for those who like impact protection more. On the forefoot area, both have enough bounciness and impact protection. But slight advantage on the KT5's impact protection the forefoot area because it's more plush. And as for court feel, responsiveness. Both are very responsive sneakers in terms of cushion setup. You're not really too close to the ground but it is very responsive so don't worry on that. You're not too high off the floor so very good cushion setup on both sneakers but if you want more impact protection, KT5, you want more responsiveness and still have impact protection and bounciness, but you have to break it in a bit more compared to this one. KT4 is for you. And now moving on to the traction of both sneakers. Both have very similar or very identical traction, fingerprint-like traction. And for the rubber compound, I would say it's a tie to. So outdoor use is pretty much okay on both. And as for dust pickup, both doesn't pick up that much dust. The grooves are very deep, but they're very wide. So dust won't get stuck easily there. And as you can see on the traction, main difference is this torsional plate. On the KT4, it is in the middle, similar to the KT3s. In the middle, this gold plate here. So that's for the torsional stability plate well on the kt5 it also has that torsional plate we just move the shape of the outsole differently and make it more arch friendly so for those who have arch support problem you will love the kt5 more compared to the kt force because it has a more exaggerated arch support on the kt5s let's see for the sizing both i went half a size down so that's for regular footers half a size down and for wide footers, true to your size, I feel like the KT5 has a little bit more toe space above your foot on the KT5s compared to the KT4, so more wide foot friendly on the KT5s. As for price point, China Clay, it is around 8,000 pesos because it is limited, while the KT7 KT5 is a general release. It is priced at 6,200 pesos, so if you're more on a budget, KT5. We will never go wrong with the KT5 because of the shroud and this rubber plate at the back of the KT5. It gives more weight to the sneaker. So there is a 50 grams difference. I just weighed it earlier. There's a 50 grams difference. This is lighter by 50 grams. So if you want a lighter shoe, KT4s. And you can really feel it when you're carrying it because of this rubber plate. But if you don't mind that, the KT5 is very nice and you wouldn't feel the weight that much because of the fit of the sneaker. It has a very nice fit. Just get the right size for you and the fit is awesome on the KT5s. Here in Manila, there's three colorways already available on the KT5s. And as for the KT4s, I'm not sure if they will be restocking on the KT4s in their Anta stores here in Manila. So just wait out for their announcement do follow their instagram at the philippines official for more updated release of the sneakers that's about it on my comparison between the kd5s and the kd4 i hope i help you guys out once again this has been mark chess once again don't forget to like this video and comment if you can so that's it for me i'll catch you in the next one cheers